Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Denver, Colorado. Today, we've got a super fun one. That's right. We are extremely partial to this area. Yep. A lot of you have had a lot of questions. We might as well just do a full vlog. Back country, oh, ooh, Highlands ooh. Ranch. Get it, get it, get it. Let's go. What's up guys? We are the Mile High Property Brothers. I am Eli Schmidt. This is my partner, Will Grimes. If it's your first time checking out our channel, you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell just to the right of it because every Tuesday and Thursday morning we're dropping a new video and we're covering everything there is to know about moving to or living in the Denver, Colorado area. Absolutely, and we are licensed brokers here in the state of Colorado, which means as much as we love making these videos, mm -hmm. we love more to help you guys with your real estate needs. So that number popping up below, are the guys who answer the phone calls and the text messages. We are also the guys who answer the emails in case email is better for you. With that being said, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna cover a full vlog, backcountry, Highlands Ranch, Colorado, let's go. Hey, getting right to it, yep. we love giving you guys just that topographical map as far as context of where is Highlands Ranch and more specifically, where is backcountry located within Highlands Ranch? All right, to give you guys a little context or a topographical map as Will says. It's the uh, one good vernacular <laughs> saying I've yeah, got. It's good. Uh, mm -hmm. So to give you guys the idea of where Highlands Ranch sits, it is a very, very popular city, guys, and it's gonna sit more on the southwest side of the Denver metro area as a whole. And to give you a brief rundown as far as what Highlands Ranch has to offer, ton of families, ton of rec centers, a ton of just community out here. And because you're on the southwest side, you do have some excellent sunsets, some excellent views of the mountains. 100%, and if you're more like me and you just need a little bit more orientation, if Colorado was a clock mm -hmm. and Denver was like the center of the clock where the little dials are connected. Got it. Directly six o'clock would be Castle Rock, a little bit there further down. Southeast Aurora would be like that four o'clock spot. Mm -hmm. Highlands Ranch would be more like that seven o'clock spot. If that speaks to you. That speaks works. to me. That works. Hopefully it speaks to you and the highway as far as I-25 that cuts right through Castle Rock. Yeah. It would go right down below that um, that six o'clock setting. I don't know if this is helping you at all. It helps me, <laughs> but it just gives you guys a little sure. bit. So when we talk about commutes and just, hey, where am I going? You guys yeah. are a little bit more close to like the Western Slope into the mountains. You're still right off of 470, which is super cool. But as far as like commute to Denver Tech Center, commute to Denver, whether you're just to the left of the six or just to the right of the six, commute wise, it's very similar. You're just right across the highway more toward that mm -hmm. Western side. So if that wasted your time, fast forward to that next time. <laughs> if it did not waste your time, cool. Some of you probably speak my language. Some of you speak his. Southwest works too. That's yeah, why there's yeah. both of us. <laughs> 100%. So to give you guys a little context as far as backcountry and what that looks like as a whole, and I'm sure you're looking at some aerial shots, you're looking at some some drive-by B-roll of the houses that are around here. Right now it looks like middle-aged men running in yeah, super middle short age. shorts. Are we middle-aged? No, him. Genuine ostrich. Oh, that guy. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, he's middle-aged. <laughs> We're probably more <laughs> middle-aged than I think. Probably. Uh, but to give you guys some idea, backcountry is one of my, and I'm sure our favorite neighborhoods in all of Colorado. Absolutely. It's it's a gated community that sits within Highlands Ranch. And what's interesting about backcountry is it gives you so much of exactly what you would expect from the Colorado scenery, from lakes and trails and rolling hills and no two houses look identical. Right. Like, man, backcountry is just such a cool place for 
awesome scenery. And they've done a good job as far as like some of the trails, like the one like we're right here just by one of the little private lakes over here. They've got like sand and rock into the trail, not just cement. So they've done a really good job with mm -hmm. it. And the, these trails extend outward outside of the neighborhood. So it's not mm -hmm. just some sidewalk behind all of the houses. Like it goes back, it crosses water. Yeah. Really cool. You are closer to the Western Slope. So the views out here are phenomenal. It is a little bit reminiscent of like some things you can get in Southeast Aurora, but proximity wise to mountains and just being more on the Western side, a little bit different. And some things that we like about the builders here is, yeah, even the same builder did a great job as far as like, mm -hmm just the differences you have in each home and like yeah. you can definitely tell a little bit of similarity but man not a ton um, but they still go together they're still mm -hmm. uniform we love a lot of the stone that they do out here the landscape that they do out here price points yeah man price points important. can go from anywhere from 750 on the very low end of what you're gonna see out here yep. all the way up to 5 million right um, I would say you're, you're kind of like most common typical home that you'll see is gonna range anywhere from 900 to about 1.3 mm -hmm. is what you're gonna find here in backcountry lot sizes are pretty good and they're proportionate mm -hmm. right so when we say like hey lot sizes are good it means like even if you've got a three million dollar home over here the lot compared to the home is proportionate. So mm -hmm. like a leg day, right? Like a guy that's really big up here, but no legs. Yeah. That's my interpretation of yep. like a really big house, but there's no front yard or backyard. It's because like that house took up the entire lot out here. Right. Proportion of lot to size of home, very adequate, very mm -hmm. cool, very enjoyable. So you still get some space between neighbors and things like that, which is also super enjoyable for people that want a little bit more privacy. And we've seen a lot of that, like a lot of these lots in Colorado with new builds. Yeah, sometimes they have small yards and some people don't mind. However, when we start getting to these price points, some folks do want a little bit more privacy. So it's nice that as these new builds tend to pop up and these newer areas are being developed, builders have done a great job listening to some of that, understanding mm -hmm. that, hey, sometimes more is not more. Sometimes more is less when it comes to consumers. Really good job out here with that. Yeah, and it really helps too with all the trails and everything that Will mentioned, those we've all throughout the neighborhood. So what happens is when you have those trails, houses can back to those trails, which means a lot of these houses yeah. don't have any neighbors directly behind them. So Correct. if you are looking for something, like maybe your lot is smaller, but it backs to open space and feels much bigger, you can find a lot of those kind of lots out here in backcountry, which you can't find a lot 100%. of places. And something that you have a lot more common out here too is like a walkout basement. Yeah, that's true. Man, those are so hard to come by. Maybe not so hard, but they're more hard than you might think. Mm -hmm. And a lot of folks, like when we're looking at homes, right? This is something we do with our clients a lot, is we focus on things you can change and things mm -hmm. you cannot change about a home. An updated kitchen, you can change. Knocking a wall down, yeah, you can knock a wall down. You can change things. Yep. A lot is kind of a lot. And the way things that things that are, are lot and block when they're first developed and the way that they're zoned, you can't just go rezone a lot for a walkout basement. Believe it or not, like the way water runs off and how they have things set up in the bigger scheme of things, it's already done. So trying to get a permit for digging an additional hole on your lot to create that walkout basement might change something about your neighbor's house or someone adjacent to you. And it's not necessarily always doable if, if at all, right? So when you can find areas like this that have really embraced the landscape and just wanting views out of homes, mm -hmm. well, a lot of the views you get are from the basement level with the walkout basement in addition to the upstairs and then the third level. So really cool how they did that. And walkout basements, I guess, long story long here is they're just a lot more relevant no uh sought after yeah they yeah. just made more yeah, they yeah, made yeah. more yeah. walkout basements out here than yeah. some other newer uh, developments that we've seen yeah. right they yeah. really embraced allowing a home to just capture the feel yeah. of the neighborhood and the feel of the rocky mountains and any angle of a home regardless of where you're at great views One good thing to know about backcountry specifically, well actually I'll back it up, Highlands Ranch as a whole. So if you buy a home in Highlands Ranch, like I said before, they're real big on their rec center. So you get access to their four major rec centers that they have now, it, no matter where you buy in Highlands Ranch. Now cool. with backcountry specifically, we have one just in here called Sundial, which is a really cool clubhouse. Um, there's all sorts of family activities going on there all the time. Even just when we were pulling in here to shoot today, there was just a big, I don't know if it's graduation party or some kids party, but uh, a ton of kids just having fun together um, out here in all the parks. So really, I mean, this community guys, you've got everything that you need from trails there's people mountain biking around us you can do legit mm -hmm. mountain biking around here 
running, you can do like the, the concrete skiers like we'll see in Lost Park, mm -hmm. we'll see those guys out here. Don't get me started. Multiple lakes that you can go walk around and just tons and tons of open space for, for you guys to enjoy. Yeah, and just as far as like demographic out here, things that we've noticed and you can kind of do your own research as far as population, but you've got young professionals out mm -hmm. here that have families. We've also, we've had friends that have moved over here that are not married, that are just working professionals that enjoy the privacy and enjoy, you know, a, a big home and they've got a family as far as like moms and dads and yeah. sisters and they entertain a lot but they're not married nor do they have kids but then you've also got a little bit of like your middle-aged folks out here that deliberately want to be out here because they want to be close to grandkids because their kids live out here and grandkids like specifically we've got one client right now they are looking to be within a 10 minute radius as far as being mm -hmm. close to their kids because they want to see grandkids so the bottom line is man like we've talked about this so much on other videos but there isn't like a specific demographic that moves into a certain area in Colorado and a lot of folks are still super active and friendly and they want to experience the mountains or the trails and because you can find so much of that regardless of which neighborhood you're choosing out here especially whether it's southwest and backcountry in Highlands Ranch right now or southeast in Aurora or straight mm -hmm. south in Parker and Castle Rock they're all different in their own ways but they've all embraced like that Colorado feel oh, yeah. and giving you the trails and the outdoor experience which means like yeah just people that tend to be in Colorado they just enjoy just the outdoor experience and being active regardless of what age demographic or family or no family there's a lot of commonalities with just people loving Colorado mm -hmm. so it's cool because you get a really diverse community in every single neighborhood that you find yeah and and we're gonna show you guys some more aerial footage hopefully mm -hmm. you've enjoyed uh, some of the b-roll and aerial footage you've seen so far stay tuned we're gonna show you some more I think that's all we have for our points with this being a vlog tour we like yeah. to show you guys as much of the landscape and uh, just what it's like to actually live and drive through these neighborhoods. And I had no idea, fun fact, I didn't know you got access to all four clubhouses. Yeah, if yeah. You live in Highlands Ranch. And Eli conveniently likes to keep little secrets to himself and then <laughs> throw them out on camera so like he can be the more value add or the smarter one or whatever it may be. Ammo, yeah. So I got a little bit of bone to pick. So while you guys are enjoying some drone footage, I'm gonna handle this dude. Hopefully we, he, we come back and he's safe and it's all worked out. But in the meantime, until next video, please remember we are licensed brokers in the state of Colorado and we do love helping you guys with your real estate needs. So that number popping up below, we are the guys who answer the phone calls and the text messages. We're also the guys who handle the emails. So just anything we can help you with, guys, all jokes aside, we would love to help you with those needs. But until next video, I'll be handling this dude. You guys handle your business. We'll see you next video.